Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so what you're looking at here is $2,000 in cash. $2,000 fiat currency issued by the United States government and it is burning a hole in my pocket to go buy some physical silver with it. So I've been saving this up for a few months and today is Friday, July the 21st. It's about 3.15ish p.m. I'm heading down to my local coin store. We're going to change all of this, all of this $2,000 in cash. We're going to change this into physical silver. You guys are invited to come along with me. So we're going to go down here. We're going to buy some silver and we're going to change this fiat currency into real money. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. coin with my good friend Clay and then Larry over there into Hello. what uh, I guess was a very busy day for you guys today. Yeah. All right. So many of you who follow my channel can already see there's a little difference in the format and the way that I conducted this interview with Clay than previous uh, interviews we had, conversations that we had. And that's because I had a few audio technical difficulties. So I basically had to improvise. <laughs> it was very busy, a lot busier than it normally is. So between him helping people and talking to me, we got a little bit of dialogue going. So this is what I asked him. I walked in, business was booming. And so I hadn't been in there in a few weeks. So I asked him, was this kind of the norm over the past two weeks? And uh, if it was, what's going on? And this was his answer. Not really. I think we've went through a little bit of a slow patch in the last maybe six to eight weeks in the market in general. It's kind of everybody in the industry has corroborated that. Um, premiums have went down now. So, you know, a lot of the stuff is more available than it was and it's actually cheaper than it was. So yeah, I think that's starting to spur demand again. You know, like Silver Eagles, they're down to $32 now. Retail is what we're selling before. And that's just the premium's been compressing now mm -hmm. instead of widening. So that's a good thing. And judging from the amount of traffic in his store, I said to him, look, uh, silver sales are very strong right now, obviously. Uh, do you see anything looming in the immediate future? Something that us as silver stackers need to be paying attention to or need to be bracing for? Something that may change, you know, silver price, silver value, or demand for silver. And this is what he thought. Uh, I think the main focus right now is on the US dollar. Uh, you know, the dollar index from a technical standpoint, we're just vibrating right around that 100 basis point area. Um, and there's a lot of technical support there, but it's also a really vulnerable area. So, you know, a lot of blogs have been pointing out that we've got a head and shoulders technical situation with the dollar. You know, in the next four to eight weeks, it's going to be important to watch and see if the, the dollar breaks under 100 on that index. If it does so um, with some gusto, then I got to think that we're going to see a pretty good dollar devaluation, maybe into the, the upper 80s by next year. That would be a big metals pool, obviously, right. with that type of decline in the index. Anything could happen. But right. That's one of the things I notice is on everybody's mind with currencies right now in the Fed. And since we were kind of on the subject of currencies, with me bringing my currency down to exchange it for physical silver, I asked him to be a little more specific about exactly how the movement of the dollar value could affect us as stackers, the price of physical silver and our demand for it. And this is what he said. In a fractional reserve banking system, credit always has to expand to keep the game going, right? So it's a pretty good bet that currency inflation and credit are going to continue to expand in the future. And, you know, let's be honest, that's the main reason that we all stack this stuff to protect us from the incipient price deflation that can come from that in the currency. Absolutely. All right. So by this time, it was really pushing closing time for Clay and Larry. So I didn't want to take advantage of the unprecedented access they give me. And so we cut the interview short right here and I went ahead and bought some silver. All right, so we're going to get to it. We're going to let you guys go. You had a busy day today, so we won't keep you much longer. But the information you provided is fantastic. 
people love to hear that kind of stuff, especially from an expert. I don't know <laughs> appreciate if I'm an expert, yeah. <laughs> You are. Hmm. I appreciate that, Clay. So let's get to buying some silver. Thanks, Thanks my friend. Yeah, we appreciate it. You too, Larry. Bye, Don. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Go cut that grass. Yes, sir. <laughs> so this is how the breakdown went. So I walked in with $2,000. I checked spot price and Atmax had spot price at a flat $25 even spot price. And so I bought, I managed to get 74 ounces. I got 70, I got 64 ounces of generic rounds, 64 generic rounds, one ounce rounds. And I bought this 10 ounce bar that you're seeing here. So I walked out the store with 74 ounces, took $2,000 into the store, walked out with 74 ounces. And if you do the math, that was right about $2 over spot. So I paid $27 an ounce for 74 ounces. Now, to me, that's a good deal because I checked the online bullion prices and they were averaging right around $27.75. And so I got it for 75 cents cheaper than what the average online bullion dealers were charging. Plus, I don't have to wait for it. I don't have to wait for it to come to me and I don't have to pay any shipping charges, which is fantastic for me. I love local coin stores for that reason. I get to go down and see what I'm buying. I get to look at it, touch it, and then buy it and bring it home, which is which beats online all the time. And so I don't normally buy silver like this. Now you guys have seen me make big purchases in the past, but I do that maybe once or twice a year where I normally would go down and and buy silver like once a once a week or every other week. I just take that money that I would be spending every week or every other week and I just stuff it in the envelope. And I do that for two reasons. The first reason is I get to watch where the premiums are going. I get to save up money and kind of can pick and choose when I'm gonna drop a lot of cash for silver. I wait for the premiums to be just right and then I buy it. For the second reason I do it, I get to go down and buy a lot of silver at once. That's very motivating, kind of gives me a sense of reward for putting in the work and the sacrifice and being patient and going down and buying a you know a bunch of silver. Like today I bought 74 ounces that I get to add to the stack. And it's just such a good feeling to come home with all this silver that you see here and just put it, add it to the stack. So why do we do it? <laughs> why do we take our fiat currency and put it into physical silver. Well, if you're new to stacking and you're wondering that, it's because of what's in the name, fiat. Fiat means it's not backed by anything. No commodity, it's not backed by gold or silver. It is basically valued by the government that's issuing it. And for me, that's not a very reliable formula there. I mean, you know, when I'm thinking of Zimbabwe, I'm thinking of Venezuela, and I'm not an economist. I don't know a whole lot about how currencies are valued and devalued and that kind of thing. And I just know that they can't create physical silver. They can't make it. There's a finite amount. Now, who knows? That's up to debate how much silver is out there. For me, there's plenty of silver out there. Sometimes it's, it's more silver than other times, but I've always been able to get some silver in my stack. So I don't think we're running out of silver anytime soon. I don't think that there's gonna be some catastrophe that's gonna happen anytime soon. And I really don't think silver is gonna go to $1,000 an ounce anytime soon, but we buy it because it's a safe place to put our hard earned wealth. If you're relying on those fiat dollars, you may be left wanting if the currency is devalued to such a degree that it becomes um, a problem. <laughs> now I don't see that happening, but I have my physical silver because I want to use it for a specific purpose when I retire. That's what my silver's for. And I believe it's going to be better to have that physical silver put away than those dollars. Now I have a lot of investments. I have a lot of other things that I have when I'm no longer earning an income and silver is just a part of that. But it's a big part of that because it is that important. I see the value in physical silver far beyond the fiat dollars that I spend to get. Well, there you have it. I walked into my local coin store with $2,000 in cash, walked out with 74 ounces of three nines fine generic silver, which I think is a great deal. I got it for a really good price. So I'm happy about that. And I get to bring a 
lot of silver home. You guys know when I went and bought that 100 ounces from my friend Troy. I love buying silver in bulk. Can't always do that. <laughs> I got to buy it, you know, a little bit at a time sometimes. But it is good to just save your money and then go down and make a bulk order. Makes you feel good. It's rewarding. And it just gives you a sense that you're, that you're making progress with your stack. Now, you don't have to do it this way. You don't have to save your money and buy in bulk. You can do one or two ounces. I've done that for a lot of years. I still do that to this day. A lot of people that I know do that. However you got to do it, you do it. But it's so rewarding to see those ounces grow into a stack. Now, I'm not telling you all this to suggest that maybe it is easy, that stack of silver is for everyone. Now, what I'm saying is it will be worth it. If you put in the time, you put in the effort and the energy, make the sacrifices, have the patience to determine that this is the right thing for you so it doesn't hurt you financially, it will be rewarding. You will get something positive out of it. I don't want to suggest that it is for everyone. Please do your own research, come to your own conclusions, make sure you understand what physical silver is meant to do for you before you get into buying it and stacking it because it can be very rewarding and it can also be a pain in the you know what. <laughs> anyway, we're going to leave it right there. I appreciate you guys stopping by. More good content coming up. It's going to keep the silver train rolling. Keep stacking. Peace. Bye.